Lou Gehrig, Joe DiMaggio, Mickey Mantle. For over 50 years, the New York Yankees were the proudest dynasty in the history of sports. A symbol of class and dignity, while winning record numbers of pennants and World Series. Then in 1973, new owner George Steinbrenner changed that image by publicly bickering with his free agents, as well as the constant hiring and firing of his managers. And tonight, George Steinbrenner joins us live in our studio on Sports Chat. Welcome. Cale, Bobby, glad to be here with you. Now, George, this winter, we've seen an unprecedented flurry of free agent activity, including your own Dave Rigetti to the San Francisco Giants. Any feelings about that? Well, I'm sorry, Gail. I'm still the majority owner of the Yankees, but I'm not active anymore in the everyday management, so probably wouldn't be appropriate for me to comment on that. Oh, give me a break. <laughs> you know what I do these days? I have a small farm in Ocala. I raise chickens. I have buff wine dots. I have white leghorns. I have Plymouth rocks and white rocks and guinea hens. And every day I go out to the coop and I feed my chickens and then I gather the eggs from my chickens and I clean off their droppings from then my chickens. Eat and their droppings. I, and then I watch them. Well, I figure you got to be eating some of it. How else could you be so full of crap? What do you mean you're on a baseball? Give me a break. I'm not. I'm not involved in baseball. I am out of the everyday oh, operation. Don't give me that. You'll still be firing people long after you're dead. Bobby, uh, just, just no, wait no, a minute. No, that's all right. No, just... that's all right, Gail. The young man's entitled to his opinion. Yeah. That's what America's all about. You know, yes. I was born on the 4th of July. Were George you? M. Cohan, grand old flag. <laughs> Yankee Doodle Dandy, all you of wanna that. Want to know my opinion? Anybody want to know my opinion? Not really. You made a mockery of a team that was once the proudest tradition in baseball. My team. That's right, the Yankees were my team. When I was growing up, I loved being a Yankee fan because I knew year in and year out, Mantle would be in center, Maris would be in right, Stengel would be in the dugout. What's with this guy? So I felt like I knew them. And I think that's what rooting is all about, George. Not this circus where players get bumped from team to team and managers get thrown out like yesterday's milk. I'd like to remind you something, Bobby. During my tenure with the Yankees, they won more games than any other team in baseball. Four American League games. <coughs> Facts two and World figures, Series. George, do not bend a broken spirit. You broke my heart, George. You broke my heart. You're fired. It doesn't work for you, Bobby. You're fired. Get off the show. Get off it now. Take this from anybody. You know what? You're right. You're right. I'm so sorry. What am I doing? Please sit down. Yes, thank you. What Bobby's very it? passionate. I am about passionate. Things. You're fired again. Get out of here. Get out. Get out. You're off the show. And now you know what Billy Martin felt like and Bob Lemon and Michaels and... We'll be right back. The baby. Like you've never done anything before. Oh, come on. You're just a little jealous because in households all over America, baseball fans are chanting my name. Ten and 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 We did it. Yes, you did. Yes, I did. You took him down. I took him all the way down. Oh, you took him down. Ow, 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 ow. Now, there. Take a look at Jeff. He's happy for me. That's team spirit. Oh, I'm not happy for you. I'm happy for me. <laughs> Why? Because you just took down Rappaport's best friend. They went to Culver Military Academy together. Only Steinbrenner made better grades than he did. They've got houses next to each other on the Cape. And most Steinbrenner's has a better view. Golf every other week? 
Steinbrenner has a better handicap. Mm. Rappaport has spent the majority of his adult life in Steinbrenner's shadow. We need less than him stand in the shadow. Why didn't anyone tell me? Tanner, when you see your ship coming in, you don't set the dock on fire. But <laughs> never have I seen a better display of self-destruction. Such mindless, inner rage. <gasps> Call me. <laughs> oh, Georgie, I tell you, you're funnier than some of those guys oh. on my comedy chat. Thanks, RJ. Yeah, Mr. Thanks. Steinbrenner. Yeah. I hope you just uh, thought of that as just good innocent fun over there at uh, Sports Chat. Don't sir. worry about it. I've called worse than that. Don't worry about it. Take it easy. So you see, you are a wonderful person, sir. I knew that. I think I said that. This is a great man. RJ, I think you had something you wanted Did to take he? care of. Oh, well, hey, uh, boss, uh, <laughs> I thought you... Okay. Chip. Oh. Uh, Bobby, sir? You're fired. What? See you, Bobby. Don't let the pizza get cold. You're kidding, right? You went too far, Bobby. But that's what you pay me to do. That's what the people want to see. I'm downtown Bobby Tannen. I'm one of a kind. You can't replace me. Eeny, meeny, miny. <laughs> Musburger. <laughs> Let's go back. Hey, Mac, say something. I'm very sorry about him. Mac? Mr. Rappaport. What? That's what you wanted, didn't it? I don't care. I took him down. It was worth it. Tannin! Tannen! You know, Mac, I did what I had to do. Hell, I like Tannen, but you saw what he did. I had no choice. You know I had no choice. Whatever you say, sir. Now, Mac, is there something on your mind? Oh, not a thing, sir. I'm working for you, aren't I? So naturally, I'm overjoyed and proud. Proud as a dog coming in from the backyard. Uh, see, there it is again, that tone. Excuse me, Mr. Rappaport. What's on your mind, honey? It has to do with Bobby. Look, Mr. Rappaport, I know that Bobby Tannen is a pitiful liability, both personally and professionally. And overall, I can't believe I'm going to say this. I really think you should consider giving him his job back. Now, uh, Gail, I just don't understand this. I thought you hated Tannen worse than a monkey hates wax fruit. My personal feelings have nothing to do with this. What you did was wrong. Dead wrong. Hey, you're dancing with a hurricane here, young lady. You can't just fire somebody because he doesn't know the guest is a buddy of yours. The hell you say. I can fire anybody anytime I want for any reason I want. No, you can't. Musburger, what the hell are you doing? I'm just having coffee, Mr. Rappaport with Missy. Well, I don't like that. You're both fired. But it's decaf, sir. You just clean out your desk and give the key to the receptionist. If it's the coffee, sir, I can quit drinking it. I told you you were fired. Get the hell out of here. Now, what do you say, little miss? You can't do that. I think you were your mind and i think i don't want to be here anymore so before i get fired for breathing i quit all right now now gail now look maybe i did act just a little bit too hasty okay wait musburger missy i was just funny you rehired thank you sir glad to be back <laughs> there feel better no good because you're fired now feel better yeah. Very smart move, sir. Now I believe we have no sports network. Nobody <laughs> tells me what to do. Except Steinbrenner. Oh, what, are you turning on me now, Mac? R.J., you should be ashamed of yourself. Ashamed of what? I'm R.J. Rappaport! I'm R.J. Rappaport! <laughs> Damn. I got to take inventory. Now, let's see. I'm really rich. Now, that's good. No sports network. That's bad. 
but I got a best friend, and that's good. Who cost me my sports network? That's bad. But I'm still really rich. Now, let's see. That's three goods, two bads. Which should be good, but I feel bad. Damn, that's a tie. <laughs> oh, sweet. Granddaddy of guilt and shame. What have I done? I'm half bad, I'm half good. Plus, I just had a whole conversation with myself. <laughs> that can't be good. And the capper is... I'm starting to cry. <laughs> Take it. You're out of it, John. No, that's okay. Go ahead. No. Mac told me what you did for me. Thanks. For what? Man was dead wrong. I was kind of hoping it meant that you hated me less. <laughs> what are you doing today? Well, I'm going to find some more bottles, take them home, wash them, bag them, cash them in. Full day. <laughs> I gotta go. I, I gotta tip about a dumpster over at the playground. Hey, Bobby. You wanna come over for a minute? And uh, uh, what are you looking at? You call me Bobby. I've called you Bobby before. It never sounded like that. Sure it did. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Yeah, we're all caught up. You wanna come in? It's freezing. lunch or something? I was just going to fix a salad. I mean, you must be starving. It's 9.30. It's only 9.30. How can it only be 9.30? No, this is... Oh, I'm going crazy. You know, I, I, I've never not worked, Bobby. I mean, this is what I do. I work. I, I, I like going to work. I like being at work. I like coming home for work. I like to lay my little clothes out getting, for the next day. Of, okay. Uh, you know, I just... Uh, I can't live like this. I, I, I don't know how to do nothing. Well, you've come to the right man because there is a nothing that I don't know about doing nothing. You might call me a professional non-professional. Oh. Should I get any help? Sure. I can do it. First. Let's get a load off. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Look. Here. Sitting. Down. Legs. Uncrossed. Relax. Legs. Relax. You don't like okay. a fighter. Yeah, I, 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 I like feel that. relaxed. You do? I get Okay. It. Never underestimate the power of television. This is a waste of time. Exactly. See, you learn fast. <laughs> TV? Meet Gail. Gail TV. Where's your clicker? <sighs> okay. Now, this does not leave your hand for two oh, days. Oh, very funny. Oh, please. Come please. On. This is part of it. All right. Now, just, just turn it on to something mindlessly entertaining. Sit down. Have a bit. That's it. Oh, okay. Where is the whole world in there, isn't it? Yeah. Your world, Gail. Hmm. Chef, what are you doing? That's your new desk. Look, Mac, I've been thinking. I don't want to replace Tanner. Not this way. Look, Jeff, I know how you feel, but Mr. Rappaport feels very strongly that you're the right man for the job. Eeny, meeny, miny, Musburger. <laughs> that means I could have gotten this job when I was nine. Oh, 
excuse me. Oh, uh, Jeff, do you mind if I sit down? I, I'm awfully tired. Sure. What's wrong with Mr. Rappaport? Guilt, shame, Bobby, Gail, Steinbrenner. <laughs> How you feeling, Mr. Rappaport? I feel like an old man waiting in a long line to see a bad movie. <laughs> oh, that's a nice sweater, Jeff. I bet that's soft. Oh, it is, sir. Oh. <laughs> Steinbrenner. 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 Hey! All right. You and me. We've got things to discuss. What's on your mind? Look, George. For as long as I can remember, Mr. Rappaport has looked up to you as a friend. Despite all of his success, your opinion of him was always very important. Why? That's his business. But what's happening now is affecting all of us. And that's my business. I don't follow you, Mac. You don't have to. All you have to know is that if anyone hurts Rappaport, they also hurt me. And George, no one in their right mind wants to hurt me. And that's not a threat. That's a money in the bank promise. Hey, guys. What's going on? Well, RJ, one of your employees here is having a problem with our friendship. Is that true, Mac? Yes, sir. Why is that, Mac? Just look at you, sir. You're a wreck. You're walking around fondling a sweater. And I just can't stand by and watch this team fall apart. How do you plan on preventing that, Mac? By giving Gail and Bobby their jobs back. Without my authority? You go under my head? <laughs> no, you shouldn't have fired him in the first place. You only did it to impress him. Hey, wait a minute. What's going on here? If Tano ever talked to Lone Ranger like that, he'd shoot him in the ass with a silver bullet. <laughs> Who's in charge here, anyway? RJ? RJ? Look, I'll make it easy on her. I'll be out of here by the end of the day. No, oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a sec. I, uh... Huh? I gotta take inventory. Now, I could afford to lose lots of things. I, if I lost my money, oh, that'd be bad. But I could always borrow some, so that's okay. If I lost my house, that'd be bad, but I could always sleep at my sister's. So, that's okay. But Mac, now, if I lose my Mac, I... Hell, I can't afford to lose Mac. Oh, that'd be bad. Real bad. Now, let's see. That's, uh, four bads, three goods, two okays, which makes me real sad, and that's bad. Sad. Wait a minute. That rhymes, which is good. <laughs> that's the only good thing about it. Ah, uh, Mac, you're not going anywhere. I, I don't get it. He's just a yes man. No, John McKinney is no yes man. John McKinney is, it, is, well, he's my Mac. Aren't you, Mac? What do you say so, sir? R.J., for the first time, you've got something I want. What's that, uh, network? No. <laughs> no. Respect? No. Uh, good relationship with the press? God, no. <laughs> I, for the first time in our long friendship, I'm jealous. I'm jealous of you, R.J., because you've got a Mac. And John McKinney, you're a good man. If you ever think you want to manage another team, you give me a call. I'll see you, good friend. What the hell are you looking at, Mac? Here. Give this damn sweater back to that Musburger. <laughs> hell, I gotta... I gotta get my team together. 
Yes, sir. And, uh, Mac, give yourself a nice raise. Yes, sir. Is it going to cost you? <laughs> oh, well, now, Gail, honey, we just missed you down at the office. Uh, it's just not the same without you. I came over here to see how you were doing. Shh, this is the part where Starsky gets amnesia. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Give me that remote. Give me that remote. I want the remote. Oh, Lord, I want you, man. Bobby, Bobby, this may not be the time for tough love. Now, just let Missy handle this. She knows about these things. Gail, how would you like this nice piece of chocolate? <laughs> Bobby, I got it. Give it to me, you Klingon pigs! If I want it, give it to me! I'm not gonna I'm get not it. My <laughs> Aunt Kate's pain! Give it to me! Oh, sweet angel of couch potatoes. I, she turned into a mad dog. Oh, Bobby, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm real sorry. You think that being sorry, real sorry, is gonna make up for what you've done? You humiliated me, and you took the finest woman I know, the most respectable and most vital, and you stripped her of her dignity. That's not going to be so easy to fix. All right, for starters, you got your jobs back. Oh, Gail, do you hear that? We got our jobs back. I'll see you there tomorrow. Come on, Gail. We've got our jobs back. Let's go, baby. Come on. Let's into the shower station. Na, 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 Come on. Na, 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 na. Plan two. Don't fall. <laughs> From the Rappaport's broadcasting system is the All Sports Cable Network's Sports Central. Hello, America. I'm downtown Bobby Tannen. And I'm Gail Roberts. And we're thrilled to be back at our terrific jobs right here on the good old Rappaport Broadcasting Network. Aren't we, Gail? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you bet we are. And to kick off tonight, down in Atlanta, Georgia Tech came from behind to defeat Louisville, 98-96. And on Bewitched tonight, Samantha's mom and Dora paid a surprise visit to Darren at the office. 